Hey guys, this is Lisa from Grace and Old Paper. Um, this will be my first ever video on YouTube. Uh, I am relatively new to junk journaling. Just started it a couple of months ago. Um, haven't actually completed a whole journal yet, uh, unless you count paper bag journals. I did several of those and gave them as Christmas gifts uh, to family, which and they just loved them. So I am working on a really big journal. Um, go figure. I, my first one I start out on is a huge journal. <laughs> but I've also started having other creative ideas, and I'm working on two others at the same time. So um, because I was an, a newbie at this, uh, I didn't have a lot of supplies, um, not a lot of tools. <laughs> Um, so I've had to kind of make do and, uh, struggle along and just take my time. Um, I did get a hundred dollar gift card, um, you know, a Visa gift card for Christmas and finally had the chance to go to a, um, it's a really big antique thrift junk store type thing that has different booths. You know, it's, it's a, um. Uh, it's where you go along and there's just booth after booth after booth and it's made out of an old grocery store so it's just pretty good size a little ways away from me but um the the thrift store close to me is just absolutely terrible i have went there a couple of times and got what i could um so anyway i, I wanted to show you my thrift haul my very first thrift haul i'm very excited about it uh i only spent about half my gift card and my daughter that was with me sweetly bought me the rest and um, we just had a really good time. And so I want to show you what I got. So here we go. First of all, we went by Second and Charles. And if y'all have a Second and Charles, you know, they always have a free bin out front. Ours has two free bins. There wasn't a whole lot in it, but I helped myself to these. Um, this just because, you know, it was free. And it's, I can collage or do something with it, I'm sure. So I got that. These two I will probably save to make journals out of. The spines are in really good shape. The covers are in good shape. Nothing wrong with them. Nothing wrong with them. I am probably the only one that picked up the torn up books in the bin. But look at the age. Look at that. Look how beautiful. I can certainly use that in collages. This is uh, not written by Laura Ingalls Wilder, but based on the town and uh, atmosphere and everything of Laura Ingalls Wilder. So I got that. I'll probably just read that. Uh, another torn up book. You know, just, just a book to collage with. I kind of giggled at this, do with me what you will. And I will probably make it into collages and pockets and all that kind of good stuff. Um, uh, a dictionary. I did not need another dictionary because <laughs> where do you see my what I got from the store um, but it was free and I like free so there you go so that was the stuff from second and Charles free bin all right here we go okay I got these two little dictionaries see dictionaries I have a thing about dictionaries apparently uh, this one's newer uh, this one is 1965 just you know just a good basic little dictionary cute little sorry if you can see that cute little um, images I can tear around but they're gonna make tags and that kind of thing out of it this one is older there is no date there is no copyright um, quite old I only paid four dollars for it probably shouldn't have done that but it's really more of a word journal it's just it's got teeny tiny definitions I thought that'd be cute to use like that. Um, I found a, a, there was one of the booths we went to that everything was a dollar and under. <laughs> I love that. It was like a kid in a candy store. Um, we had a hard time getting out of that one. This is Last of the Mohicans. I don't care about the story. Don't, don't really care about the images that much, but the, the pages are buttery soft, beautiful yellowed. Ah, I know I can use that. So I figured 50 cents. Why not? Another word book. Yes, I do have a problem with dictionaries and word books. But, but look at the aging. It's, it's yellowed all the way around. It's gorgeous. I'm good with that. Paid a dollar. I got this book for myself. It's 
hard to show due to the lighting. The Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. I loved this movie. So I'll be excited to read the book. So that one's just for me. Dollar. Found this one, Mother Knew Best. Wit and Wisdom from the Moms of Celebrities. The first one I flipped to was uh, Elvis Presley. And I'm not sure if I can find it again. Yeah, see, I probably can't find it again. <laughs> a little bit written on. Well, oh well, it's in there somewhere. Basically, his mom said something about uh, take this guitar. Don't, don't, that you're not getting a rifle. There it is. It says, son, take this guitar. You're not going to get a rifle. Take it and play it. And he did and did well with it. So I got that. Found Latin quips at your fingertips. Uh, what I like is that it's English and then in Latin. So I thought this would be good for collaging and um, tags and things like that. Found this Reader's Digest uh, Almanac in Your Book 1975. I have another one of these that is 1968. And boy, are these just wonderful. The aging on it is gorgeous. There's so many images and diagrams and articles and people and just so much in these things. They're absolutely wonderful. Um, just love it. And I got it for 50 cents. So, you, you know, you can't beat that. I mean, look how huge. How many pages is this thing? 1,024. Yeah, good deal. I got this Reader's Digest book. Um, to make a journal out of and I love that it's purple and I don't know if you can see it but there is a Pegasus embossed down here at the bottom but that's just to make a journal with I got the Bible verses for a busy woman um, not that I'm busy but you know a guide for moments of stress joy and contemplation this year has been the stress but I love putting Bible verses on things and uh, I figured that would be a good one to use. The big journal I'm working on, my first actual official journal I started working on, I went over ambitious and it is a large one. Um, it's going to be a chunky monkey um, but it's about my late mother and father-in-law. They were precious precious people and I loved them dearly um, and even after all these years we still miss them so much. Uh, so I'm working on a basically a love story uh, of theirs so um, I needed some stuff he, he was into construction and I needed something to represent him um, and I spent having a hard time finding construction related things but this has a lot of um, building and construction uh, stuff in it so you know I thought for a dollar I'd try it and see what I could find saw this uh, for a dollar jumped on it uh, like crazy look at the beautiful roses it's really really glossy and since I'm new to junk journaling you know is y'all y'all uh, post in the comments if you can if it, if this is okay to use um, do I need to do anything to it um, you know is it all right I, I thought the roses were just beautiful though absolutely gorgeous and for a dollar why not um, in the journals I have worked on, the paper bag journals and even my mother-in-law and father-in-law's journal I'm working on, I had found a book at my thrift store. Uh, it was poetry by Helen Steiner Rice. And I have actually loved using some of her poetry. And I found two more books. This one was $1.50. This one was $1. Um, And it's just got some of her little poems in it. They're small, so they're easy to use as cards, uh, uh, journal cards or tags. This one, I don't really like the artwork in it. It's, it's just not my favorite colors, but I will get good use out of the poetry in it. You have to understand, I don't get to do this very often, so we make quite a haul of it. Um, this is a children's Bible storybook. I don't like tearing up Bibles and won't tear up Bibles. But my daughter pointed out this is a storybook, not quite the same thing, and the pages are just, oh, buttery soft, beautifully aged, um, there's this funny little piece of ephemera in it, smile, brush your teeth, see your dentist, 
thought that was a funny little bookmark. Um, but, you know, I, if I can get myself to use it, I will. If not, then it'll just stay in my possession for, my, to me, for me to read to my grandchildren. Either way, it was like, I think it was a dollar or two dollars at the most. I got um, All Things Bright and Beautiful. It was a dollar. And it has lovely images to use. Wouldn't that be pretty in a winter journal? Um, to use as cards, tags. Yeah. Oops. Just really pretty images and some poetry and quotes and things. Loved that. I got this book for one reason and one reason only. It is a newer book. I did pay $3 for it. But in my family, we, we joke around a lot and we're, you know, we try to laugh a lot and um, we would just occasionally, you know, if somebody does something silly or funny, we, you know, we're calling, you're just such a weirdo, you know, we, weird to us is an affectionate term and it, it's used frequently in our home. So I found this book called The Weird Sisters. Oh, the glare on this terrible. The Weird Sisters. And I got it for one reason, and that is to, you know, and one day I hope to make a journal just about the funny things my daughters have done, and, you know, a humorous journal. Beautiful, beautiful embossing right there. The covers, like the spine is gorgeous. The covers in perfect condition. So I thought, you know, how often am I going to find one called The Weird Sisters? So I grabbed it. Got this big old book. I love this book. I uh, only paid five dollars for it, and, and I say only because that is a bit much for a junk journal book um, to, to you know to tear up. But I love this book. It's a quarto of modern literature, and it says new and enlarged edition. The spine is not the best. It's got really some bad damage to it here. Um, I mean, it's holding up okay. It's holding up okay. This is really surface damage. So, you know, I could put a piece of lace over it and it'd be gorgeous. It is rather large. It is like 8 by 11. Yeah, 8 by 11. So, it is rather large. But, it's from 1935. And it is absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at the aging on the end, end pages. How, how gorgeous, huh? It's, again, buttery soft. The pages do not crack. It's full of stories and poetry and um, just all kinds of things. I will probably sit and read through this before I do anything. Oh, look, somebody pressed a flower. Hmm. Little tiny one. So there, there. I, I was flipping through it, and there is even a story in here on the Titanic about the sinking of the Titanic, and it is um, like a um, news story editorial type thing. Really fascinating, though. So I, I thought this was a good steal of a deal. I, I really loved it. And there's the personal handwriting in here. I just loved it. So, like I said, I'll probably sit and read through that before I bring myself to do anything with it, um, which will be hard. <laughs> I got this Overboard magazine, paid $2 for it. But again, like I was strugg I'm struggling to find things to represent my father-in-law. And he was an avid fisherman for quite a long time. Time. So we, we have already found uh, a couple of items in there to use for him. Got this one, uh, the Biltmore State. Had some beautiful things to fussy cut, and I have already torn them out. So I can't show them to you right now, but hey, it's Biltmore. You know it's beautiful. <laughs> um, got this bundle of two quilt magazines. They were bundled together, so I couldn't look in them. And there were $3 for the bundle, and I thought, well... You know, it might have some really good stuff in it. So, I went ahead and did it. Um, and, it's, and it's okay. Um, it does have some quilt patterns and things like that. Um, a few good ads and things. Uh, a few images. Now, if I do a, I don't know, a country journal or something like that, I can probably, you know, make tags out of some of these quilts. So, got those. My daughter picked this one up. It's a country gardens because there's some beautiful flowers in here. Again, glossy pages, but look how pretty. I love flowers. I'm sure I can make something out of that. We hit an aisle, I mean a booth, that had music. And boy, oh boy, did they have music. 
These books right here are big and they were a dollar a piece. I guess because they didn't have covers. This was copyright 1952. There's 88 pages here and look how beautifully yellowed. I mean this gorgeous golden yellow. Absolutely, absolutely love this. This was copyrighted 1928. So there's some really old music in here, 31, 32. Love that. Again, this one is a little lighter, but still aged and beautiful. Use that. Got these two action special songs and choruses for boys and girls. Again, aged and just gorgeous. A dollar a piece. And I found this one that I will be sure to use in a Christmas journal. Wasn't able to do one this year because, you know, I just started, so I didn't have enough collected for it. So I have started collecting, so I can do one this next year. The pages are really glossy, um, but I'm still going to use them because that is just gorgeous to me. Just gorgeous. So $5 for all this music, I, I couldn't pass that up. They had even more, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Um, for my father-in-law, part of his journal, uh, Pipe Cleaners. This was off of a 50% off booth, so I paid 50 cents for it. Um, I will probably, I don't know, maybe make a pocket out of it. Uh, close up this end and open this one. I think it's really funny that originally it was 30 cents. If you can see that, 30 cents. and <laughs> I paid 50 for it. That's what happens. Found these playing cards. It's my first playing cards to find, and I was so excited. Almost didn't care the image, but the image is beautiful. There, all this is Glacier National Park. Like beautiful, beautiful scenery. So I'm good with that. 50 cents. Not bad. Found these vintage postcards. Um, this one right here is from Massachusetts in 1959. Thought that was beautiful. The rest of these are pretty much all California. But again, gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that old car. <laughs> Golden Gate. It says the Last Supper window, Forest Lawn Memorial Park, Glendale, California. Beautiful. Best Tourist Court, Hot Springs National Park, Arkansas. Oh, okay. This is California. This one uh, says Princess Snow White and her Dwarves from Bush, this Bush Arroyo Gardens. When I get around to doing a Disney journal, this will have to go in it. That's beautiful. Another place in California. 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 San Diego. That's a high school. <laughs> Stockton, California. Oakland. That one is uh, Carmel by the Sea. I've actually been there. It's a beautiful place. Santa Barbara Mission. That's a place in California and the Golden Gate. Oh, another bridge in California. So, I was quite happy with those. I think they were four fifty for the lot, but I've never found vintage postcards, so I was a little excited about that. Um, found this and just jumped on it. It was a little pricey, but I have been looking and looking at my local thrift store for a bird book and have not been able to find one. Like I said, mine is terrible. And this was just beautiful. I can use, I could fussy cut. Let me look at Mr. Owl. I can use the, the whole pages, perfect size for a, a journal card, a t big tag. Um, been just hunting and hunting. Um, so I was very excited about this, uh, particularly since, there it is, my mother-in-law uh, loved mallard ducks. So this will give me something else to add to their journal. It, there is no date um, on it, and uh, as a matter of fact, it starts with page 21, so somebody had torn 20 pages out of it, which I really hate, but I was still happy to get it. I was still happy. I got this, and this was a pricey item. <laughs> it was a pricey item. It was $10, 1956. It was saw it sitting on a bookshelf, and I got curious about what is in a box. So let me show you. This is a Around the World program. Look at this. Oh, Japan. We love everything about Japan. Just think it's beautiful. 
this. Apparently you put stickers in these. They had stickers that went with them. So there's just great stuff in here that, you know, some of the images aren't great. The stickers are beautiful. I may see if there's some way I can get the stickers off without damaging them and use them. Absolutely gorgeous. Matter of fact, this box also had some that have not been used. Uh, just how gorgeous, huh? Madrid, Sevilla, Madrid. How gorgeous, though, huh? And the other books are Spain, Australia, and Mexico. So I thought that was just great. Just great. A little pricey, but great. Unusual. Got this stack of Reader's Digest. And you know, they're around here, they're hard to find. Um, these are from the 60s, and there's six of them. I think they were four or five dollars. I thought that was a good deal. I will definitely be reading through those before I cut them up. I love Reader's Digest. This one is a very sentimental purchase, and I believe my daughter bought it for me. Um, it's Bobsy Twins. Excuse the striped light coming through. <laughs> the sun is shining in my blinds. Um, it's in very poor condition. This is hanging on by thread. But I loved the Bobsy Twins when I was a young girl. I read as many as I could get my hands on. And just look at the aged pages. Look at that. How gorgeous, huh? Got the darkened around the edges. It's got the old imagery in it. I can get look at that. I just love this one. Let me see what year this one is. 1950. I just love that. Yeah, it's five dollars. My daughter got it because she knew I loved the Bobsy Twins. This one's another sentimental purchase. <laughs> the monsters. I, I love the monsters too. I thought they were great. It says five dollars on it. Um, I actually paid two fifty because it was at the half price booth, so that was good. And I was like, I don't know exactly what I'll do with it. Um, but my youngest daughter pointed out to me. She said, Mom, if you ever make a Halloween journal you know, uh, chronicling the uh, costumes for my grandchildren. She said, this would be great. And I said, hey, you know, you're right. That would be good. I could make a, a funny addition to that. Hang on a second. Let me um, close my curtains a little bit so we'll quit having so many stripes. Hopefully the lighting won't get bad. Um, found this uh, stationery packet. When I do a children's journal, I thought this would be really cute. It's got the papers and the envelopes and the little teddy bear, rocking horse, so cute. And I can even use the uh, package it came in. It was just a dollar. Found this for a Christmas album, Christmas journal. God promised us a savior. My daughter found these two. These are just beautiful. Look at the imagery in here. It's so adorable. Look at that little fella. He's so cute. And use that. And this was the Three Bears Visit Goldilocks. It's in bad condition. But the images and everything are just so gorgeous. I love it. These will make adorable children's journals. Found this book um, simply to use for collaging. It's all in French. I paid 50 cents. Can't understand a word it says, so I figure that's safe for me to use in, you know, collaging my junk journals and things because I have no idea what it says. Um, so if it says any bad words, I don't know. <laughs> but heck, that's good for that. And yes, I do seem to have a problem with dictionaries. I'm going to tell myself not to buy any more. I found the, this before I found the free one. But it was 50 cents, you know, 50 cents. And it's just a good dictionary. It's got the good little images. Um, and I, I do love, love tearing out and using some of the words and some of, some of the things I've done, played around with. So, you know, 50 cents. 
who can pass it up? I found this big scrapbook. Um, it is unused. And I was passing by a booth on our last aisle and we were heading to the checkout. And this lady had this, she was standing there at the booth working and she had this in the top of the buggy that she had. And I kind of tapped it and I said, this is a beautiful scrapbook. And she says, well, thank you. She said, it's, it's mine. She said, um, I said, how much is it? She said, $12. I said, well, I, I've already picked out so much and I've overspent today anyway. And I said, I better not. And she said, well, she said, my booth is 20% off. And I said, yeah, I still. So I was starting to walk away and she said, she said, you know, since I'm here today, I can give it to you for $6. I was like, okay, I'll do that. The nice thing is when we got up to the register, the 20% still applied. So I got it for $4 and change. I was quite happy about that. I haven't decided if I'm just going to use the pages in junk journals or I've heard of some people who have an idea books and I thought, you know, that's a really great idea for me because I, my memory is not the best and so I need to journal all the different types of pockets and envelopes and tags and things like that you can use. So I haven't decided whether to use this for the idea book or something else. Can't make up my mind. Faults anyone? <laughs> anyway, I loved it. Big old scrapbook. Uh, let's see. I got lace. This little bundle. Y you have to realize we do not have good thrift stores here. I don't have any more junk stores. And I, mean, you know, I see people on YouTube and they're getting like little bags of lace for 50 cents. And I'm like, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> so this was $2. It is is two different pieces of lace. There's this one. Love this one. For some reason, it reminds me of crowns. That's so pretty. So that was $2. This little bag full was, oh, it had these two little pieces in it too. They're cute. I'll use them for something. Now this little bag was $3. It's aged, but isn't it pretty? It's really pretty. Got that. This bag was three dollars. Really pretty lace, though. There's that. Found this hanky. Oh, I hope you can see that. How pretty that is. Cannot remember what I paid for that, but I think it was two dollars. These two came together as a set of two. Really pretty, soft, gray and white butterflies. That was gorgeous. It was a set of two, and I think it was two or three dollars. This one was more pricey. My daughter got it because I, I was going to put it back because uh, it was five dollars. But it's got beautiful, beautiful lace on it. Gorgeous. I have never used handkerchiefs before so it'll be something new for me I don't exactly know how to do do it but I'm sure YouTube will help me I got two of these this one is really puckered right here so I'm gonna have to see what I can do about that this one not so much yeah not so much but I figured if I have a big enough journal that these could be a page in themselves but otherwise they're just beautiful so got those those were like $2 a piece. They weren't bad. Found this very odd shaped one. But I figured this could be four pockets. And I love, love the Santa Claus. I have, kind of have a thing about Santa Claus. Top of my piano was always covered in Santa Clauses at Christmas. Found this little bundle of lace. It's kind of stiff lace, but it will do great on the edge of pages, I'm sure. There's a whole bundle of it for $2. And then I picked this up, and my daughter's like, Mom, why are you getting that? It's all stained. And I said, that doesn't matter. I'm going to tea dye it anyway. So look at it. I can cut all of these out. I possibly could even use these little pieces. So a little stains doesn't matter. I'm going to tea dye this thing. <laughs> I love that. Okay. The other thing we got there, and I was so excited about this. It actually didn't have a price on it, and they had to call the owner and find out how much it was. But for $2, I 
I got this McCall's magazine from 1909. I was so excited. There are so many things to fussy cut. Look at this lady. Look at her. There are, I mean, just so many images. There's like funny articles. Oh, look at that. I don't know what I'm going to use them in yet, but I will definitely use them. I just, I was so excited over this book. The little children's clothes. The stories and articles in here are just absolutely fantastic. Look at those ladies. Jello was still in business. Was in business then. How about that? <laughs> mm, lemon Jello. Mm. Royal baking powder. Wow. The only thing I know about Royal baking powder, I think, was wasn't that in uh, uh, Anne of Green Gables? I think that was the stuff that that was in there that they talked about. But so many images, ads, ostrich feathers. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I just loved this. I, I absolutely loved it. was so excited about it. $2. I will definitely use it for $2. The last thing I got, my daughter actually bought because I couldn't bring myself to do it because it would have took a chunk out of my uh, little gift card, was this sewing machine box full of things. This is $15. And you can see it is stuffed full. And there have been some fantastic stuff in here. I love the wooden spools. This one, this one, and this one are not, but the rest of them are wooden spools. You mongo needle, like a big old thing. I don't know if you can see that. Not sure what this is, but I'm sure I can put some kind of use to it. So there's just, there's old buttons. There's a really pretty pearly one there. It's an old thimble. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? I think it's really pretty. There was all of that stuff. Some bobbins. Oh, oh, and some really aged bobby pins in here. That would look really cute um, with some little beads hanging. And then here, these are all needle books. I've heard some of them are collectible, but I don't know if any of these are. So there's that one. This one's actually a needle threader. Because you love them, that is from Life of Georgia. Interstate Life and Accident Insurance Company. That's a real one. This one's from the Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> I giggled over that. And this one's complete. Really pretty, huh? So those were in there. Got this pretty blue ribbon. Got um, some rickrack with this little thing attached to it, which I'm sure I can detach. This black ribbon. Got quite a bunch of it. This pretty sparkly stuff. Can you see that? I hope you can. It's black and silver. And this old zipper really soft, flexible. I will try to figure out what to do with that. I'm sure I can do something with it. Uh, seam binding. Some more. Brown satin ribbon. Green lace, which I will save for a Christmas journal. And orange. I think she made her own headband at some point in time. A piece of trash, in my opinion. This looks like the end of somebody's tie or something. I don't know. But there's all these buttons and button cards. Um, buttons. These are like old buttons. Look at all these. Purple. Look at those.
these look like pills. They're actually buttons. <laughs> look at these. Those are so chunky. I don't know, guys, I don't know what to do with button cards like these. These button cards, I mean, I've heard of people using them in journals. Do you leave the buttons on? Do you take the buttons off? What, what do you do? I have no clue. But they're really cool. These bags are just full of random buttons. And that's just an empty box. Everything in here smelled great. And it was because of this. It is a Victoria's Secret sachet. And let me tell you, it smells divine. It's absolutely wonderful. So everything in here smells beautiful. More buttons. It's like they save things off of uh, clothing when it comes with the extra thread and the button. More buttons. Some little beads I will probably throw out. Um, these are actually like clothing tags that have buttons attached. <laughs> $132. Um, so... But I can sure I could use them for a film or in some way or another. I got those. Uh, two more zippers. Frosty and Bone. More buttons. A few little pieces of fabric that I will use in some way or another. Yellow, white, pink. And this green satin I'll save for Christmas. This pattern is a uh, Fisher Price My Friend Mandy's Gaucho outfit. A little pattern for a doll. And then there were these. Oh, a little thing of thread. These patterns. She was obviously petite. Um, they say 18 to 20, but I don't think so. 16, 18, 20, yeah. But very vintage, look at that. <laughs> I don't know what that one is. Why does that remind me of Captain and Tennille? Oh, it does, though. Oh, the pantsuit. Bell bottoms. And I have already learned the good value of the pattern, tissue pattern. I've used it quite often. It reminds me of the Brady Bunch. So, this was my thrift haul. Um little bit about me. I am a mother of two, a mother, a grandmother of two, a wife, daughter of God, and um, it's been a rough year for me. And finding the junk journal world has been an entire blessing to me because it has really helped me in a lot of ways and my husband has been fully supportive of this as have my daughters and the rest of my family and so um, it's just been it's been a peace of mind to me um, matter of fact my youngest daughter gave me this for Christmas prayer box and I will be filling it up it just talks between me and God um, so if you have any comments leave them if you like like um, since this is my first video, I don't really expect much, but uh, I've had a good time doing it. Um, I'm enjoying collecting the stuff and finding bargains and putting together what I can. Um, in future, I'll show you some stuff. I do have some videos of where I made the paper bag journals, so uh, I may up the, upload those soon. So, otherwise, have a uh, good and blessed day. Take care.